Hi guys! Welcome for Tuesday's episode. That's pretty funny. Um, we get beat by Lester, and then they want me to join them. <laughs> well, guess what? Uh, we ain't joining you. Arsenal was very tempting because I'd love to play at the Emirates every week, that amazing stadium, but I'm going to do that as in a private save next season, next year, shall I say. Let's see how much budget we got. 7,000. But I think what we have could help us the next couple of years. Um... So yeah, and we need to renew some of them players contracts who we've signed soon anyway, so most of it will be for that and look how much it takes a month, so we do need a lot in the transfer budget so we don't get in debt. How much prize money did we get? Oh, it don't say. Okay. Kundi's really um, popular with the fans. So, and he's one of my favourite players as well. I thought Brandt would be up there. He's had a better season than Abraham. Where's Bale? Bale's all the way down there. Alright. Let's get to the matches. Is Demerol up for it? He better be. He is. Uh. Oh yes, yeah, Zafok is coming. Um, in January, so. Bernardo will probably be like our squad defender to come on when people are tired. But the first team seem up for it, so that's good. The strikers ain't really came on much, so... Oh god, I nearly forgot to... um. Oh, they're going to cause us so many problems. Yeah, against the big teams, I'm playing five at the back. Definitely. I think that'll do. Well, that's it. The team spirit's really good now. Just then we'll hit them on the counter. This is gonna be. A very, very tough match. Um, to be honest, guys, I'll be very happy with a nil-nil. I know that won't be entertaining for the channel, but it's a results business, and if we can get a point from one of the best teams in the game, then 
that's a great result as far as I'm concerned. But I suppose if I did do a FIFA career mode, it'd be better for like the presentation because you have proper stadiums instead of default stadiums. So I possibly could do a FIFA 22. Maybe I could do it in the sense of like one day I do PES 21, then every other day I do FIFA 22 but if I did do FIFA 22 whoever watches maybe let me know what you'd be interested in me doing because what I'm planning to do on FIFA 22 as a private is actually be in League 2 and make my own team like a non-league team name and then build them from scratch uh, that's my plan if you wanted to see that on the channel and I'll just play it on the channel and then maybe do a different private save then maybe I could do that but that would be a pretty fun thing to do actually on the channel make me own like non-league team like maybe Nuneaton or Leamington a non-league team who's never been in league 2 we could lot make a story in the sense of it's the first time they've ever been promoted to League 2 can they survive and compete so if people are interested in seeing that let me know and if you are I'll do it on the channel if not I'll do it myself so and, uh, as a private he's call again No, I meant to pass it back to him. Oh, damn. I'm sure that went out for a throw in. I swear that went out for a throw in. That is strange. That is really strange. So yeah, but um, I don't know what other leagues would be interesting to do on FIFA. Maybe like maybe Germany, Germany third league, and build a team up from the third league to the Bundesliga. Cause the Bundesliga is a really good league. Maybe some like that, or Italy. Maybe MLS, the worst team in MLS, so... But if anyone is, really, would really like me to make me own club... Oh, I thought we scored then. Make me own club, then build us up from the scratch and try and win as many trophies as I can. And it'd be a really long-term goal, like five to ten seasons. Because from League Two to the Premiership, it'd be a while. And I could set it on like a one star team. Make it as bad as we can and it'd be very similar to the Remo save so. Maybe we could do that. I'll see what people say first and if people want me to do that. And then maybe continue doing this. Or they just want me to finish this and then just do FIFA 22 then I will. So I'll talk to a few people see what they say. But uh, but we're coping pretty well. They've not really broke us down as much as I thought they would. I'd uh, take a draw to be fair. Um, their attacking players really worry me. They really do. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised this season if they won the league. I really want. There you go, our Condi. Right, let's see who's tired. I think bring one of those strikers on. 
They've not had any game time in the last few matches. Maybe Abraham for Origi. Give Origi some game time. play Hayden at right back he's good at tackling so he could do a decent job for us uh, what shall I set it oh <laughs> he's getting marked <laughs> he's getting marked 100% As soon as I seen him, I'm like, yeah, uh, you ain't getting any time on the ball. Oh, good catch by him. Yeah, Jovic's had a good season. I think he's had a... He's been a good signing, I think. I think Bale's done really well as well. I just... Against the big teams... I think the defensive formation works better because then we can just hit them on the counter and then make it hard for them to score past us as we've got like five at the back so 5-3-2 is a really good counter-attacking formation to frustrate the opposition then try and take a chance when you get it but you really have to make you really have to make um oh what a save that was that was a quality save he's made so many good saves in uh, in this master league look at this really good one hand save oh boots it up to origi what can he do can he flick it on no <laughs> He's been all right. Uh, Yo Linton's been better, but he's all right. He's, he makes a difference when he comes on. He holds the ball up well. He brings players into. He brings players into play. He sets people up, so he's a decent target man to bring on. He's never going to get us like ten to twenty goals a season in the Premiership. He'd probably get that in the championship, but he's a decent squad player, I'd say at best. He's Brandt to Hayden. He's Origi, what can he do? Back to Hayden. Oh, let's see who we can bring on the last 20 minutes. Brant's looking shattered. So's Bernardo. Let's bring Bellingham on. Yeah, let's keep bring Bellingham on. Brant's looking really tired. But that's yours. Yeah, just keep the ball. We have to... Oh, I tried to do a good through ball right in the middle. Couldn't quite pull it off. Great inception by Matic. Origi. Oh. Good set up by... Jovic. Yeah, it looks like Bellingham's only going to get about 10-5 minutes of gameplay, but... So here's... Bernardo... To Matic... 
Jovic, Bellingham. Free kick to us. Finally, the ref's got his glasses on today, it seems. Yeah, that's a blatant foul. Oh, we've got no one great who could do it. Let's give Jovic a go. Oh, a bit over the bar. It's okay shot. Maybe if I put less power in it, it would have um, got on target. But to be fair, guys, I know it's not great to see on the channel, but I'm very happy with this result. Um... I really thought, to be fair, that uh, they were going to do a send, so... To get a point from these, from their ground as well... I am I think this is a really good result. And beating them would be a bonus. A really big bonus. Oh, shit. We got lucky there. Aguero should have stuck that away. To be fair to him, Aguero should have finished us off there. Look, hit the bar. Post, sorry. Yeah, he should be getting that on target. Uh, we got really lucky there. <laughs> really, really lucky. Oh, but now it's in our half to attack. Let's try and nick a goal. Wouldn't that be a great bonus? But it would really annoy me if we do this well to great interception. I'm happy with that. Uh, that could really help us out towards the end of the season. You know, as I've said before, crucial points in the season, point, one point, three points, help you out towards the end of the season look you never know I don't see it this season but that point could maybe keep us a point off from like the 5th place team to finish 4th you know or even 5th 7th so which is our aim anyway so but good result we played pretty well I think Five three two seems to work really well against the big teams with great players, so that is going to be our defensive formation against the big teams. We seem to really cope well against them when we've got five at the back, so yeah, I'll be doing that against the big sides, 100%. Against like the Man City's, Liverpool's, maybe Spurs, Chelsea's. But we're in the European spot, so as long as we finish past 8th, I'll be happy, and that's our objective anyway, so. So I'll best change it back to normal now, because we don't need 5 at the back against Palace. Not at all. Yeah, we don't need 5 at the back against them. Yeah, you can go. Um, well, let's change this team. Oh, it stayed the same.
Uh, everyone seems good. Apart from Bale. And Jovic. Okay. They have played a lot of football, to be fair to them. So, let's give them a bit of a rest. Let's give them a bit of a rest, because they have played a lot of football. So... Yeah, but I'm glad the football season's back. I've missed it quite a bit, so. But I enjoyed the Euros. That was a good tournament. England did better than what I thought they would, so, you know. And hopefully Newcastle can have a good season this season. And in real life as well, because the Newcastle fans deserve better, and they really do. The chairman should start uh, stop being greedy and start giving the manager some money because, man, from what I've heard, he's one of the most greediest chairmans ever. So, yeah. Hopefully one day Newcastle will be bought and... Yeah, so we'll just have to see about that. Good tackle boy, Brant. Oh, just over the bar. That weren't a foul. It's a goal kick to them. He's Matic. Tries to add it to you, Linton. Kundi. Oh, God. Is Bernardo. To you, Linton. Abraham. Is Lobato. Oh, did well to get past the defender. Not a great cross in, unfortunately. He's our John Terry. Can he win his header? Yes, he can. Nine times out of ten, he's always winning them in there. So, I wouldn't even bother because Abraham. Oh, just over the bar. Not a bad shot by Abraham. He's starting to come in into his own a bit. Yeah, shame he couldn't get it on target. So, good header up by Demerol. His Matic to Abraham. Oh. So, Newcastle just need to be patient when they've got the ball. Then look for openings. Good tackle by Matic. He's kind of like our uh, Makaleli kind of thing. Makaleli was better, but he's just really solid. And he, I think he's one of the seasons, one of the reasons why our defence last season has been solid. And this season it's been alright as well, so... Good ta interception by Brandt. He's Almiron to Abraham. Lovely through ball to Almiron. Brandt. Oh, tried to place it in that in one of the corners. Now they're on the counter attack. I've got Condi all the way back there just to protect. Oh no, we slipped. Great interception by Pondy. What would we do without him? How he wins his headers. How last minute saves like that. Yeah. Top, top defender 
Anyone watching, get him. He is a great defender on this game. So, Abraham loses it. Come on, Abraham. Book up your deals. I paid a lot of money for you. Oh, no. Good tackle. He's call again. All right, let's see who we can bring on. We need to create a few more chances, to be fair. Uh, I don't know. Don't know who to bring off. I'll try in half an hour. I'll try in ten minutes or so, see who's took more tired. Here's Matic to Almiron to Lobato Matic. He's Conde, Almiron, Bernardo. Here's Brandt, Matic, Lobato, Brandt. Get it on target. From there, you should be getting it on target. For a professional player. He should be getting that on target. <sighs> He's very annoying. Why didn't you run onto it? You had enough time to run onto that. To try and get it. There you go. He's too good in the air, isn't he? Is Abraham, what can he do? Through ball to Lobato. Lobato, or oh, lovely ball to Almiron. Oh, for God's sake. He's off. He's pissing me off today. You're off. I kind of feel like he's been a waste of money, to be honest. But I think he will come good. He's just really annoying me today. With his positioning, that shot, what he should have got on target, just... <sighs> I kind of wish I got that other striker, to be honest. He's off. He's really annoying me. Yeah, not a bad shot by Yo Lin Un. Uh, at least he caused the goalkeeper some problems, so that's good. Good save. Yeah, Abram's definitely off because he was really annoying me. He, just, he didn't have a very good game, in my opinion. His Shah, Tomatic, Yo Linton. That was a really good save. Good shot by Bellingham. He's a class player. I'm so glad I got him. He's Almiron. Liberto. Nice goal. Is that Origi? Yes, it is. No, I was just criticising him, saying he barely scores, but he's a decent target, man. And he's done more than what Abraham's done today because he did nothing. Very frustrating performance. I'll keep playing him though. 
I think he will come good eventually, he just needs a bit more time probably. Good tackle by Shah. He's Amaron. God, we've got some PC wingers, ain't we? Almiron. Oh, that's a foul. That's a foul, in my opinion. You got the player, not the ball. If you don't get the ball, it's a foul. Simple as. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the ref's fear on this game. Oh, I did get a bit of the ball than the bloke, so... I could say that's a yellow, yeah. Well, we need to try and keep on to this 1-0 lead. Good header out by Cull again. Almiron back to Shah. Boots it up to Origi. Nice ball control by Origi. To Yo Linton. Yo Linton back to Origi. Lovely goal by Origi. And Yorgi kicks it back in the net. Good performance by him. Lovely hold up play by Origi. Nice little one two between him and Yo Linton. Let's see this touch again. Look. Nice ball control. Nice hold up play. Nice one two. And nice finish. Nice goal. Yeah, he's came on and done really well. <laughs> Amaron to Bellingham. Joe Linton, Origi, Lobato, Origi, back to Bellingham. That was a quality save. Nice little one two by Bellingham and Origi. Bellingham loves playing with Origi. Nice chip through ball, really good save. It was straight at him, but still. It's a good reaction save. He's Bellingham. Shot. Oh, <laughs> what a goal that would have been. That would have been goal of the season if he scored that. Good performance by the lads. Good performance. Yeah, Origi was man of the match. He did really well when he came on Abraham yeah Abraham deserved that because he was dreadful in my opinion he did nothing he was really pissing me off ah that's harsh on Demerol Demerol weren't that bad he had a better game than Abraham but yeah so we beat them Man City beat Fulham Leicester beat West Ham, Villa beat Watford, Brighton beat Birmingham, Birmingham's going straight back down I think, Bournemouth beat Arsenal, ah I thought Arsenal would do them in, Wolves beat Chelsea, hmm. Everton drew to Spurs, Leeds beat West Brom 4-0 and Liverpool beat Man U 2-0, I'm very happy about that. I'm not a fan of Eva, obviously I can't stand Man U, but I much prefer Liverpool to Man U, 100%. And we're fifth. Seven points off first. Not this season we won't challenge for the Premiership. Next season, with maybe one or two really good players onto the team we have. Good chance. Good chance that could happen. 
But for now, we just want to qualify for Europe and play against the European Giants. Oh, God. Ooh. Uh, ooh, that's going to be tough. That's Tuesday's one. No, Wednesday's, sorry. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. I we're having a decent season playing some good attractive football. And if uh, Abraham don't buck up his ideas, Origi might just be taking his place. But I'm going to give Abraham three to five more games. And if he starts scoring, creating chances for people to score, m playing good, then he'll keep his place. If he keeps, if he plays like he did in that last match, and he don't do anything in the next five games, I think I will start starting Origi, because Abraham's showing glimpses. He's just not being consistent enough, and that's the problem. But thanks for watching. Bye for now.